Good morning guys. Yes, it's me again. It's Matt and welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beta Berserker. Hope you're having a fantastic day out there, wherever you are. It's nearly the weekend. I have another review for you. Also, before we start, I don't a huge massive thank you for all the help and support that I'm getting out there over on my Instagram as Viking Beard Matt and here on my Peter Berserker YouTube channel. Uh, thank you also for all the comments yesterday. Um, my wife done her first kind of ever review and I sat here at the side. She's looking at starting her own channel up as well. But massive thank you for all the support that you gave her and Shira yesterday because she was nervous as hell and She's doing exactly the same as me, trying to, our best and hardest to support, promote, and show you guys that there are small brands out there, whether it's beer products, skin products, hair products, clothing, whatever, craftsmen out there making leather work and stuff, metal work, woodworking and everything, that we really need to get behind, support and help, as opposed to these huge, massive, faceless brands out there that just pump stuff out of their factories with no real passion behind it, which is why I set up my Instagram and my YouTube channel to purely help them out. And thank you guys for all the support. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button, like, comment. I do read and will respond to each and every single comment that is made, so please feel free to comment. And I have something slightly different today. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Been quite excited about this uh, for the past couple of months or so. And this is a motorcycle helmet. For those of you that don't know, I do ride a bike. And this uh, brand called Guang or Alex Guang, to be honest, I hadn't heard of them before. Um, got in touch and we've been chatting backwards and forwards. And they have very, very kindly sent me a new bucket skid lid helmet whatever you want to call it out to have a look at see what i think of give you guys my honest opinion with it as with all the reviews i do i'm completely honest everything i do is my own opinion and completely unbiased because there is nothing worse than going out having some pennies left over once we pay the bills whether i go out and buy stuff stuff that gets sent through to me for reviews there's nothing worse than going out, spending our hard-earned pennies on stuff. You get it through, doesn't live up to expectations, falls apart, the shop, uh, workman's, workmanship is shoddy, and it's just a complete waste of money. So all of my reviews are completely honest. I would hate for you to go out and get something on my recommendation, and then you get it back and go, well, that's not right. So I am not here to blow smoke rings up of anyone's backsides. And <coughs> we shall start. So, a couple of days ago in the post, I received a box through from Guang Helmets. Um, quantity, one piece, safety helmet quantity, size 34 by 34 by 34 centimetres is my address on the back. Um, there you go. Very heavily padded box with inserts, foam inserts in it. And like I say, obviously we're helmets out on a bike and in the UK you have to and I'd never really heard of Gwang before um, found them on Instagram and like I said got chatting and the helmets are amazing yeah you've got your regular ones your Bell your a, um, AFG or whatever they're called um, your Shoei and your Arai, Arai however you want to pronounce it um, but I had never heard of this and the thing with riding a bike is yeah, you want to be stylish, but at the same time, you want to be really, really safe. Now, I love my cruisers, bobbers, choppers and stuff like that, and not so much my sports bikes. Um, I'm a bit too old for that now, so I need something a bit more easy going when I'm out and about. And with sports bikes, it tends to be kind of that one look of the leathers, the full face helmet and everything, whereas I like with the cafe racers and bobbers and stuff like that it's a lot more kind of stylish and you can put your own twist on it and everything and this is what uh, lifting it up has been sent through now these are from what i've looked at on their website and chatted to and everything a premium luxury helmet 
Um, I didn't know what that meant, really, because a helmet to be is a helmet, as long as it's got ECE, DOT, and JIS certification with it, and it's well made, because that's the only thing that you wear on your head, between your head and your floor, uh, and the floor, or a car if you come off your bike or anything. So safety to me is just as important as style. And this is what was sent through. So nice box. Bezel open face, Le Vesuve, in size large. Um, there is, I will be putting links down below. So inside of this box, padded on the top of the old squidgy foam, which is nice to see that it's packaged really well. Inside we have this. And um, These that were holding them in place, these little foam pucks. Dun, dun, dun. Ton of silica gel. Keep the dampness and the moisture out. Ugh. Take this helmet out. Another hockey puck inside, and the box, really, really um, decent sort of strength box. Nice thick, dense foam inside to stop it from knocking about, because the last thing you want to get is a damaged skid lid before you even fallen off your bike. So, inside, I was greeted with this. Guang, um, dust bag. Like I say, this is a premium product. Opening it up, because it's really difficult. When you see photos of stuff online, you kind of like, is that how it looks? Has it been modified in any way, shape or form? And I'm always kind of quite dubious with online stuff. We've all done it before where we bought stuff from some of these sort of cheaper online shopping sites, Wish and places like that, and you get the stuff through and it's just like, that is not what it said. That's not what it looks like at all. So I'm always kind of dubious when it comes to ordering stuff online. Comes in one of these drawstring dust bags. And this is the beauty, I'm just gonna pop that on here for a second, that I was presented with. Now that is a thing of beauty. And when I said a premium product, I was kind of like, yeah, a lot of brands use that, premium, luxury and stuff like that, even though it's no different. And this, really takes the mickey it is beautiful now i love the fact that they're incorporating sort of style with it as well that whole classic retro vibe which is great <coughs> bearing in mind i was born in the 70s and my dad used to ride motorbikes and scooters and stuff and i always remember back to kind of like those evil knievel days that, I mean, I'm in the UK, but we still had Evil Knievel and stuff over here. That it was just like, they looked so cool. Um, the old motorcycle films and stuff like that, Easy Rider and everything came out. And I love the fact that they've incorporated modern with old styling, which this one has. Now, just showing you around. <laughs> this is a... The outer is reinforced carbon fiber, uh, re oh, sorry, carbon fiber reinforced polymer, which is actual carbon fiber and not just that painted on stuff and stickers to make it look like it. Also, you've got inside the fiberglass layers, the actual snaps on the front are titanium and aluminium, and it is a lightweight helmet. Despite the kind of bulkiness of it. It weighs anywhere, depending on size, between 870 and 1,070 grams. So it's a lightweight thing. Beautiful badge on the front. You've got your snaps for your visor. They do three different sorts of visors. You've got, I'll show you inside in just a second so you can hear and everything. You've got sort of like hearing gaps. Um, I have actually been out and tried this because apparently there was ventilation around the helmet which exits out the back here, which it does, so it doesn't get very hot and sweaty on your head. You've also got your goggle strap on the back. Nice Guang logo there. Guang, Guang. And then you've got everything on there underneath. And everything is um, Nappa leather and, antibacter and an antibacterial lambskin interior. And this has to be 
one of the most comfortable skid lids I have ever worn in my entire life. Now the interior lining is not removable, it's all actually in there, you can see where the ears go which connects up to here so you can actually hear and you've got all your sort of safety and certification and everything inside on there. I love the way that the maroon leather is actually matched up with the design logo or the design of the helmet which is Le Vesuve. Um, the Vesuve, the Vesuvius. Um, it is beautiful. You've got D-ring connectors on here, double D-rings. And on a label here, accident warning. I don't know what that means, I can't read it, but obviously this is the only thing that goes on your head, which will kind of like uh, protect your head against falls and everything. It's a nice size. Um, there is a size chart online when you buy them. It's not too much for me. I don't, I know you look a bit silly just sitting here wearing a jumper and everything, but it's comfortable. It's breathable as well. I can hear myself talking even here and I have found with some models of helmets that I've worn in the past that once you've got those full faces on and everything, the sound bounces around, I can actually hear very well either side. So there is good rider awareness when you're wearing this. And it is a thing of beauty. Now on top of this, there was the bag, which has got some kind of reflective stickers in there that you can put over your helmet and everything. So if you're riding at night, it will sort of shine, but nope, not gonna be putting those on the helmet. And also they do, which came in another dust bag, I'm just going to put this on the floor for just a second. A range of snap-on visors and peaks as well. And everything about this just sort of screams quality. Um, I haven't actually used the visor yet. I've tried it with the helmet and the snaps just to check the rigid rigidity of it. Um, still even got the film protective film on there. These come in various different shades. Uh, I need my glasses for this. You've got the, where is it on my notes? Uh, you've got the light, the smoke and the dark. So if you do want to kind of like cut a bit of the wind out and everything like that, these ones are adjustable on the side. So obviously, obviously everything moves and they do snap on and it holds really, really well. And it's just, even with the kind of, the detailing on the uh, snaps, you can either have chrome or you can have gunmetal snaps. These are the gunmetal ones on there. Everything about this product just feels quality. I really, really love that whole retro feel of it. Um, I would have possibly liked to have seen this moved slightly up a bit uh, for the goggles, because if you are wearing goggles, um, having it up all the time is a bit kind of hard. It'd be nice to see this moved up possibly just slightly, but it is beautiful. It's one of those, sometimes you get a skid lid helmet and you kind of, you don't care, you sort of put it on the ground, you drop it and you kind of scuff it and stuff like that and you're not worried about it. Even though this is designed to protect you, in my opinion, which we're all entitled to our own opinions, it's kind of a piece of art as well, because it does invoke and remind me of times, like I say, when I was a kid growing up and my dad in the motorbikes and scooters and riding around and stuff like that, and on the back of his and on scramblers and bits and pieces. That whole style, that there was a style behind motorcycling. And nowadays with the sports bike and everything, I know it's safety, but everyone sort of tends to, especially here, because I live right on the coast and we have a sort of meeting point for local motorcyclists and stuff like that. And apart from kind of like your cruiser bikes and your custom bikes and choppers and bobbers and stuff like that, all the sports bikers turn up and they look like Power Rangers in their sort of one piece leathers. And yeah, the style to that and each to their own, I'm not, I'm not dissing the sports bikes. I think as long as you're on two wheels, it doesn't really matter whatever you're riding. Um, 
But this is a thing of art, and I don't really want to drop it, fall off my bike, scuff it, or anything like that, because it is beautiful. And if you can just, I'll just flick you around again, so you can see the work that has actually gone into that. Um, decent D clips as well on there, um, with your popper fastening as well. It's beautiful and so soft, and I've not actually had a helmet with as good an interior as this in my entire life. It's just beautiful. That feel of the lambskin and the Nappa leather, it just screams out quality and it is decent. Also, <coughs> I don't know who it was I was speaking to at Gawang, but amazing customer service. It got to me within about a month. These are all kind of handmade to order. There are loads of different designs out there, really retro ones to your planar looking helmets, loads and loads of different paint jobs. They do the jet one, which has got the bit at the side that you can flip the screen up and down. They're also from April going to be doing the full faced helmets as well, which I cannot wait to review one of those. And I really hope the same quality goes into their full faced helmets because I, I love this because it's great you can sit there bandana goggles sunglasses or whatever or just put the visor down for a nice sunny day but sometimes you just need that bit more protection of the rest of your face which is why i do tend to wear a full face helmet and um, just in case because it's just a little bit more i know i'm ugly enough as it is but i don't need any more excuses to be even more ugly so when you're just pootling along and a nice sort of cruisy speed and everything, this is a damn fine helmet. Now we get into pricing. Dun, 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 let's put that there, that there, that there. Okay, the actual helmet itself is coming in at a thousand euros. So it is not cheap. And when they say luxury, they mean luxury because it's all handmade, handcrafted and everything, the rubber that even runs around the seal. And so I put that through on a currency convert literally five minutes before I done the review. And a thousand euros is coming in at 843 pounds 35 pence. Also on top of that, the visors do come separate, uh, sorry, the well, screens, visors do come separately, uh, coming in at 130 euros which is £109.89. pence. Yes, that is a lot for a helmet. B, that is not a lot for a helmet, considering this could be the difference between me having a very nasty accident and messing myself up for life, or even worse, we've all got friends that used to ride and stuff that are unfortunately no longer with us. And... I do like the way that it's modelled, sort of, it's stylish looking, it's kind of retro looking, but behind it, it is a good, decent, well-made helmet. I've done my research on it, and it's really, really nice. I cannot fault it, and I think it is worth the price. Yes, there are cheaper helmets on the market. Yes, there are more expensive market uh, helmets on the market. All depends on your budget and everything, but, I'm scoring this as one of the most comfortable, nice helmets that I've ever worn. Straight up 20 out of 20. Love the customer service, love the styling that's gone into it, love the retro feel of it, love the classic feel of it, and I love the way it's made, that it's got its ECE Dart and JIS, or Jizz, whatever you want to call it, um, safety standards and everything to it. A good, well-made, solid piece of kit. Thank you so, so much to Guang, um, Alex Guang, for sending this through. It is beautiful. I'll just show you around it one more time. You can see all that carbon fibre that it is actually real carbon fibre and not just some stuck-on thing. The ear holes. You've got the vents out the back. Also got the popper strap, which I say could do it just being a little bit higher or something. I know a lot of safety uh, riding goggles now have got like silicon underneath, which kind of grips the helmet and everything. But that interior is, it just screams luxury, nice fit, space for your ears. 
and so you can hear and everything and not muffle because not everyone wants to wear a full face helmet but it is beautiful thank you so so much to Gawang for sending that through links will be down below in the description box please give them some help and support and follow I really really look forward to doing a review of the full um, face helmet when that comes out so thank you guys i hope you've enjoyed this review if there is anybody else out there that needs any help support promoting advertising reviews or anything please get in touch with me would really really love to help want to do some more motorcycle um reviews and sort of promotional stuff and everything like that with the weather starting to well i say starting to get nicer it's cold out there and it's sunny but it's at least summer's coming. So there you go. Thank you guys. I really, really appreciate all of your time. Have a great afternoon. And I look forward to seeing you guys in the next review from me, Matt, the Beta Berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.